Most Danish children are in daycare or school from day nursery to graduation. 18 years, five days a week during the best hours of the day. This is where a child learns the most important things in life, because a child must learn a vast curriculum. But first of all, he or she must learn how to become a human being. minutes we'll meet an array of normal Danish children, from Carla, a toddler, to Jonathan, who's about to venture out on his own. We will witness the first 18 years of the child's journey and the struggle to succeed in a world removed from mom and dad, which isn't always easy. We know that many children get left out from the Danish community, but according to prominent researchers, it doesn't have to be that way. We asked them how best to raise our children. Are they thriving? Are they learning? Is that perhaps one and the same? Carla is almost one year old. She's used to being at home. Her life so far has been about getting to know herself and her family, and about giving meaning to all the things she explores. But soon, she'll experience an abrupt shift that will forever change her life. She will start in day nursery, far from the safety and familiar framework of her home. Here, she will learn how to survive and get by in a foreign universe. This learning will be crucial to whether she'll be successful later in life. This is one of Carla's first days in the day nursery center, Gnisten, or the spa. It's the first time Carla is away from her parents for an extended period of time, and in foreign surroundings and strangers' arms. What is she thinking behind that seemingly calm gaze? Penelope Leach, psychologist and researcher of children's development, has an idea. I can't describe the child's inner landscape, and I'm glad I can't, because I think it must be very, very threatening. What we know the child has got to cope with is complete confusion, because she doesn't yet understand the key things about being left. She doesn't understand that Daddy will come back. She doesn't understand when Daddy will come back. She doesn't understand any explanation that she's been given about why she's here. And she doesn't understand who these other children or this other caring person are. So she's completely at sea. And I think it is better to assume she's terrified, whether it's obvious or not. For more than 50 years, Penelope Leach has been the originator of very popular books and TV programs about children. Lately, she's researched the impact of daycare on the growth and learning of children. I think research suggests very much in how hard hit they are by this transition. I don't believe any child is not hit by it. And the parents who say, he loved it from the first day, I look at them a bit like this, you know, kind of over my spectacles, wondering if that's quite the case. And I say this because sometimes a child will distract herself and it looks as if she's OK. And I think the crucial thing is to say to yourself, would you be OK if you were this child? And the answer is no. Even experienced daycare children like William here, Carla's new roommate, still experience mom's leave-taking just as intensely as the very first time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
must now be made to feel safe, and the pedagogue to whom William was handed plays a vital part in this process. If you put a small child into a group and go away, just like that, that child drowns, emotionally drowns. The, the other person that they've got to know and learn to trust is a life raft that they can float on until the known person comes back again. Let's go. Alone time with Mez and his car is new and exciting, but to Carla, the attentive and ever-present grown-up still plays the most important part in making her feel confident enough to establish good social relationships. Evidence is that changes of care provider are extremely important, often traumatic, always stressful. And that children who've had consistent care, both by the same provider within a setting and by their parents not moving them around all the time, do very much better on all measures of um, happiness, well-being, success than children who haven't. So lot, a big share of an adult, a consistent adult, um, Planned activities. Those are the absolutely crucial things, I think. Good day, Carla. Research shows that the child actively creates its own learning. Carla constantly moves her head, eyes and body in order to see the world from different angles and better understand it. By way of our own actions, we create patterns and meaning to our existence. That's learning. Good learning is when we learn what we need in life. Teaching, however, is a planned and controlled steering of learning in certain directions. That comes later on. This isn't merely a change of diaper, but a mutual social learning process. Tina meets Carla's need for a change of diaper, but she also makes the situation a little fun. Carla learns that Tina is her helper and that she's nice to laugh with and be around. And Tina learns more about Carla's personality. With the mutual babbling and toying with the mobile, they share an experience that will form the base for their interaction and for gradually providing Carla with all the relevant skills that will help her become an independent person. sidelines, Carla has a safe haven within reach in an otherwise noisy and chaotic situation. Lunch. <coughs> Through all the rituals and games of a meal, Carla learns the most vital lesson. How do I handle this world and whom can I trust? If it's a success, it will encourage her to do well and thrive. But if it goes poorly, she risks learning that she doesn't really belong here. The impulses and impressions are overwhelming, but with only few means, Tina manages to generate focus and calm. 
together they play their way through the meal. Probably very good quality daycare is better than very boring, unstimulating, lonely home care. There's quite a lot of evidence that while it may be lovely to be looked after by a granny, um, grandparents don't always actually plan what they're going to do day by day and week by week, and therefore you can end up with too much TV or maybe even too high a proportion of stories read aloud to time spent running in a field. So enough planning to make sure that a wide range of stimulation is offered. Researchers believe we should strengthen social learning between the children and between adult and child, as this will help create a base more suitable for all learning. Later, Carla will be told that she shouldn't put food in her milk. But for now, Tina extends the glass to her and lets Carla explore this little corner of the new world, the day nursery and their congenial playing helps deepen the budding trust between them. The day nursery is Carla's first stop in a long life of daycare and school. It's already apparent which two needs should be met for a child to be able to face future challenges, the need for support and challenge. <laughs> 